What's up guys? We're here in Ghent and in this video we're going to show you the best things to do here. We're here with Lena who actually grew up in this area and she's going to show us all of the top spots. So I hope you enjoy this video. We are Zach and Ina, full-time digital nomads from the United States and Belgium. We met while studying abroad in 2018 and have been traveling the world together ever since. We're here to inspire your next adventure, whether it's hiking in the Canadian Rockies, a road trip through the US, or backpacking across Africa. On our channel, you'll find unfiltered videos of hiking guides and the best things to do in destinations around the world. The city of Ghent is located in the northwest of Belgium, at the confluence of two rivers. During the Middle Ages, Ghent was a wealthy and prominent city-state, mainly due to the manufacturing of cloth made from English wool. Today, it's a university town and cultural hub, full of amazing architecture such as the 12th century Gravenstein Castle. From towering churches to detailed statues and peaceful canals, there are hundreds of charming views to take in here. In this video, we'll break down the seven best things to do in Ghent. One of our top recommendations for things to do in Ghent is to try the local delicacies. Belgium in general has tasty food and drinks, such as waffles, fries, and Belgian beer. But in Ghent specifically, you can try Delirium Tremens. It's one of the best beers in Belgium and is brewed about 15 minutes outside the city center. We also recommend a tasty local candy called Hinsenusia, which looks like a human nose but tastes like heaven. And finally, you have to try a Julientia. This is a Julientia. It's fries with viandel, which is a, is a crispy fricandel. It has mayonnaise, stoke sauce, and salty crede and also the crispy onions you have on picky burgers. Potter's Hole is one of the prettiest neighborhoods in all of Ghent. With unique architecture, well-preserved cobbled streets, and serene views of the canals, this is a must-visit spot. Walking around here will make you feel like you're back in the Middle Ages, and there are also many cozy pubs to enjoy in this area. At number 5, we recommend taking a free walking tour of the Historic Center. Starting at Hostel Upolink, next to the St. Michael's Bridge, you'll learn all about the history of Ghent. This includes how Ghent came to be one of the largest towns in Northern Europe in the 13th century. On the tour, you'll stop by some of the most famous tourist attractions in all of Ghent. This includes the three main churches, the City Hall, Gravenstein Castle, and the Graffiti Alley. The free walking tour finishes in front of the St. Bavos Cathedral. This is where you can find the Ghent Altarpiece, which is also called the Adoration of the Mystic Lamb. It's definitely worth checking it out inside the church. The Gravenstein Castle, also known as Castle of the Counts, towers high above the canal. The current castle dates back to 1180 and was the residence of the Counts of Flanders until 1353. During the Industrial Revolution, it was even turned into a cotton mill at one point. Now, the castle is a museum and a major landmark of the city. We highly recommend doing the audio tour that's both funny and interesting. The touristic hotspot of Ghent is definitely the Grasle or Karenle. Located directly across from each other on opposite sides of the river, these two quays are part of the medieval port that hosted ships since the 11th century. Take a moment to appreciate the details in the buildings here, such as the swans on the Marriott Hotel at Karenle. Ghent is known around Europe for having some of the best festivals during holiday months. In the winter, for the last few weeks of December, you can enjoy a cozy Christmas market. At the market, 
you'll find warm glue wine, a variety of Geneva shots, waffles, rides, and an ice skating rink. And then in the summer, Ghent transforms the downtown center into Hensefesta. For 10 days at the end of July, over 1 million people flood the streets to enjoy free concerts at multiple stages throughout the city. The good vibes are flowing here all day long, and you won't have a shortage of entertainment options to choose from. One of the best things to do in Ghent is to take in the views from the canals. You have two options to do this. One is to rent your own kayak and go at your own pace. In this way, you can take your time at each spot, depending on how long you want to stay there. To rent a kayak, just head to Hostel Uplink. The other option is to do a 50 minute guided boat tour. Here, you'll get a short history lesson while you admire Ghent's most famous sights from a unique view on the water. The tour is conducted in English, Dutch, and French and is a great option if you just want to relax on the water and take in the beauty of the city. You can save time by pre-booking the medieval boat tour via the link in the description below. And that's it for our video on Ghent, Belgium. There are many other cities in Belgium that we definitely recommend visiting as well. You can find those videos in our full Belgium playlist. For more information, such as the best time to visit and to download the actual maps used in this video, check out our blog link in the description. We'll catch you on the next adventure.